Now we'll discuss in detail the neural tunic, a little bit of detail anyway. The neural tunic is basically the nervous uh, layer of the eyeball, and its job is to actually collect the visual stimuli, the light rays in effect, and channel them through this structure, the optic nerve. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that the optic nerve uh, meets the, the retina here, and this is an area where there are no receptive cells, so in effect it serves as a blind spot. Uh, and in lecture we will show you how to uh, find your blind spot. Uh, the rest of the retina, this tan layer, is covered with receptor cells, rods and cones. The rods in general tend to be for just general light detection. The cones, however, can detect color. And so they have a little bit of a, uh, a different function. Uh, the cones are critical because they are actually necessary for detail viewing. Uh, when you're looking at something in detail and trying to discern little minute differences in what you're looking at, you're actually trying to discern different color shadings, and this provides you with that detail vision. As a result, in the back of the retina, uh, here demonstrated by that little spot, which I personally think is way off target by this model, that is a spot referred to as the macula lutea, which is primarily filled with cones. You'll find a few stray rods in there, but it's mostly cones. And that's the area where you are trying to focus the light for detailed vision. And in the center of that macula lutea, not shown here, is a spot called the fovea centralis, which is, an, which is an extremely concentrated area of these cones. And so the idea is that you want to focus your light rays onto that fovea centralis in particular to get your absolute best detailed vision. And again, these cells are all over the place, except for in the optic disc, where uh, those cones and rods would be missing, and in effect, it causes a blind spot in your vision. And then coming back from here, shown in this model, there's just a chunk of it. There's your optic nerve going uh, all the way back to the optic chiasma.